So a self-check for diastasis, just to give you an understanding of what's happening in your abdomen and help you feel a little bit more comfortable before you go in to see a physical therapist. I've had people come in where their physician or their fitness professional has told them they have diastasis and when I check them out, there's nothing there. They have a really good functioning core and there's no separation or gap. So this just kind of gives you an understanding of what is going on so that you know how to relay it to your strength coach, personal trainer, physical therapist, or doctor. When you lay down, what you're gonna do is just feel what's happening in your abdomen. How much tension is there just by laying down? Can you sink in and is it squishy? Is it firm? So you'll go about two finger widths above the umbilicus, uh, which is belly button, uh, right in the midline. And then you're gonna press your fingers there gently. And what you're gonna do is perform a crunch. So head and shoulders up, and you're gonna feel what happens. Is it firm? Is it squishy? Is it soft? And this gives you an idea of how much your fingers may sink in, how many fingers you may be, may be able to sink in, or maybe you can't sink anything in because it's got a nice good tension through that midline. The next thing also is in a plank. So do this in a way that gives you the ability to still um, bear weight on one arm at a time. So up here might be a little bit difficult, but you could do it. You can also do it on your knees. And same thing, you're gonna feel your midline, about two finger widths above your umbilicus. What's happening there? Is it creating tension? Is it nice and firm? Is it soft and squishy? Do you have a gap there? One thing to note, the width or the depth of the gap is not something to be afraid of. It just might mean that you need uh, a good strategy to help you load your core well. So this can also be tested in a squat. I'll do it in a body weight squat or with uh, a load to be able to get the core engaged a little bit more. So if you're doing it on your own, you could hold a weight or not hold a weight. You're gonna feel where that midline is above the belly button and you're gonna squat down and see what's happening in your abdomen. Again, is there uh, firmness and tension, which is what um, you want, you want the muscles to be used and worked, um, or is it really sinking in and squishy and you're feeling more of a gap or the tissue just not come together. So don't be afraid to check. It's not gonna make your diastasis worse. It just gives you an idea of what's happening in your body and what kind of strategies you're creating when you're doing load. One thing you may notice is when you're lying there at fully at rest, you might have a deeper gap and it's soft and squishy, but then when you come up into a crunch, it feels nice and firm. And so that's fantastic. It means that your abdominal wall and your muscles are being used efficiently as they should. One thing you might have is a lot of extra pressure uh, or doming. And doming isn't always bad. It just might mean that you need a different strategy and your physical therapist can help you out with that. So this can give you an idea to help you see some ways that you may be able to improve your core strength and efficiency and allow you to feel more comfortable with exercising again.